Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, you know, NBA playoffs is coming up. The play-in is coming up soon. So what I wanted to do is rank all of the teams that are in the playoffs slash play-in and tell you which teams do I believe actually have a shot at winning a championship or which teams are just fodder and they ain't really gonna do nothing. So hey, for more content like this, make sure to like this video. We're gonna hop right into it. The Milwaukee Bucks to start this off. The Milwaukee Bucks put you boys at early elimination. I'm gonna tell you them boys, an early elimination to them, it's probably like a second round exit. I'm putting them at early elimination. Those boys are fraudulent. Um, they 49 and 33 for a team with Giannis Antetokounmpo winning 49 games it's, and, and, and Damian Lillard, that's pretty terrible. Doc Rivers also has no plot whatsoever. So I expect the Milwaukee Bucks to be an absolute disappointment. And last year when uh, Giannis said that, you know, we're not, I'm not a failure. This team, this season is not a failure. This season will definitely be a failure. So we're going to put you right there, buddy. The New York Knicks are currently the number two seed. Actually, they're just the number two seed, period. A 50 win team. I'm going to say a deep run. I'm going to say they make it to. I think the conference finals is in question. Like they can make the conference finals, honestly. Like they are, they proven to themselves or that they are the second best team in the East. 50 win team. They a good team. Like, you know, I think the OG Ananobi trade was a great trade for them. They'll have Julius Randle, but I don't think they need Julius Randle. Jalen Brunson has been balling out of his mind. So finally they got their franchise guy. So I'm gonna say they make a deep run. I don't think they need uh Julius Randle to make it to the conference finals, to be honest with you. Um New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, I'm gonna say Man, I don't know. I'm not gonna put you at fodder because I don't think you're like just a team that just like is foot. I will put you at early elimination. I don't expect you guys to make it past the first round. I don't expect a lot. Yeah, this is a good team, but they're not a team that you really expect to really do something, especially when like when things hit the fan, right? When the playoffs happen and when the playoffs happen, things get like heavy, right? You know, and when that's the case, you know, I don't know. Y'all don't have enough playoff experience. So I honestly don't think y'all got to really be about anything in the playoffs. So I'm going to put you at early elimination. The Lakers are a tricky one because they actually have the ability to be in so many different things. And you know what I might do? Actually, I'm going to adjust that. I'm going to put New Orleans as fodder because play-in is almost like fodder. So I'm going to put you as a team that just comes in and leaves. Uh, I'm going to put the Lakers. This might be controversial. I'm going to put y'all at, I mean, y'all got LeBron and AD and y'all y'all do step up in the postseason. But I feel like, you know, you you a 7th, 8th seed, whatever your seeding will be, you're facing either the Nuggets, most likely the Nuggets. Maybe, I don't know who you face, but it's going to be hard, right? I don't see y'all about to, you know, win and make it out of this first round. Like, you're not facing the Grizzlies with John Morant having freaking character issues, right? So, honestly, I don't think the Lakers are about to make it out the first round. If they do, oh, wow. But I think y'all about to get eliminated rather quickly. Chicago Bulls put y'all in the play-in. Y'all not about to do nothing. Y'all are the definition of purgatory. Y'all settle right in that right in that playing spot. Minnesota's interesting. I'm gonna put y'all at a deep run. I think Anthony Edwards, this is his time to prove that he is one of those guys. Like he's had a great regular season, but the postseason pressure is different, right? You, you you can, you know, really hype yourself up, be an all NBA player in the regular season. But when you get to the postseason, that's when, you know, the pressure comes on. And those game sixes and those game sevens, I need to see if you have plot. And you see if you got that pressure, you know, it's a pressure cooker. We got to see if you have the ability to overcome, you know, all the adversity and the pressure that comes with the playoffs. And I think you have a good enough team to do that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to say you a deep run. I'm going to say a conference finals berth is in question. I think you can definitely do that. The Denver Nuggets, I'm putting y'all at champions. They have no pressure, honestly. Um, if they lose in the conference finals or something, no one's going to be like, oh my gosh, Denver, what's wrong with you? Like they won their championship last year. They have all the playoff experience in the world. They're the best team in the Western Conference, in my opinion. Definitely the Denver Nuggets should be in that champion uh, champions bracket, be in the um, maybe you know, NBA Finals or whatever. The Oklahoma City Thunder, I'm going to put y'all here as well. I know Minnesota and Oklahoma City both can't be here and the champions of Denver, right? Because you got three people in the Conference Finals. But I like the Thunder. I like, you know, they're a good team. And Shea, you know, he's definitely an MVP candidate. I'm putting them, I think they make the conference finals maybe. Actually, no, I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one because there's, you know, that's a tough one. It might make a late, it might be Timberwolves, Thunder, and be like a seven-game series and one of these two teams go home. I think Minnesota will win if that was the case. I think OKC will go home. But at the same time, I you know, it's like, you know, I don't know. But I'm going to put y'all at a deep run. Y'all have had a hell of a season. Uh, Dallas and Mavericks. I'm put y'all. I'm put y'all here. Y'all not gonna make. I don't think y'all make the conference finals. Y'all are a dark horse team, but I think y'all will be a second round team. You know, take one of these teams, give them all the hell in the world. But I think 
I think y'all lose in like a six or seven game series in the second round, but I think it's better than last year for sure. Phoenix, I think that as well. Um, I, Phoenix hasn't shown enough for me. Like you have KD, Booker, and Beal, and they haven't shown enough that I'm like, oh, these guys are gonna make the conference finals, or these guys are gonna make a deep playoff run. They haven't shown enough to me. I'm putting them early elimination. LA Clippers, I'm putting y'all early elimination as well. Y'all have no plot. And that's as simple as that. You have all the talent in the world. You have the talent, honestly, to make it to the NBA Finals or the Conference Finals. But they ain't got the plot for it. And that's all. And I mean, Kawhi Leonard, good, but like he gonna get injured. And James Harden, Chris Paul, not Chris Paul. He has bad plot too. James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Paul George, they plots atrocious. So I'm putting y'all um, early elimination. I'm putting the Golden State Warriors. I put y'all at playing, man. I don't know. Y'all all in the play. You're in the playing, but I don't. I don't know. Like y'all, y'all. Uh, I might put y'all playing. Maybe fodder. Like a team that just gets there and lo loses quickly. Like you have a main character, though. So I'm put y'all at fodder because y'all have a main character and y'all probably may take one of these top teams to actually a game six or something. But I think y'all will get eliminated. I think the Warriors will take like you know whoever they play. They'll they'll give them hell, but they won't win because even though Steph Curry is a main character, if you're facing like. You know, if Steph Curry wins this year, then oh wow, like that thing's getting crazy. Kings, I think y'all are fodder too. Y'all are a decent team, um, but I don't think y'all ain't the three seed like last year. I don't think y'all gonna get that high. I mean, I don't see a playoff like round win. I don't think y'all gonna win around the playoffs. Cleveland Cavaliers, what is the Cleveland Cavaliers? They are the fourth seed, 48 wins. Psh, they can win a playoff series, four or five matchup with Magic Orlando. They can win a playoff series. They could be Orlando, right? Yeah, I might say early. I mean, is that really early elimination if they lose, if they win the first round? I might even have to put this like second round. It's more like a second round thing. But I think Cleveland, they're not fodder. They'll definitely like be a second round team. I'm just putting y'all in the middle of the second round teams. Um, Boston Celtics, y'all should be NBA champions. 64 win team. Y'all definitely should be. Like, I don't even have to elaborate that. Y'all haven't won a play. Y'all haven't won a finals. Y'all haven't won a championship since like, or you've won one championship since the Cold War ended. Like, yeah, come on. Y'all have the most championships ever, and you only have one since the Cold War ended. Tough. Philadelphia 76ers is fodder. I know Doyle Embiid's a good player, and he definitely could do something, but I think that's going to be a quick elimination. I think he's just going to get injured if he's not already injured and be out of there. I think the Orlando Magic is fodder as well. They're a good team, but I don't see them making it past the first round, to be honest. Miami Heat. Y'all had a hell of a run last year. I'm not even trying to think that's going to happen again. Play in. I'm putting the Hawks. They play each other most likely. The Hawks have no plot. Purgatory strong. And the Indiana Pacers, I believe, may be the sixth seed. Or what's the Pacers? The sixth seed. So they have to face the Bucks. Yeah, you about to get gone, boy. That's a fodder matchup. I know the Bucks ain't the best team. And they definitely going to be like they fraudulent. But I think they're going to win a first round matchup. So these are my picks. These are the people I believe will be champion the championship. You know, NBA Finals, whatever. A deep run. These are teams that make the Conference Finals, and they've shown that they really got it. Early elimination, more second round, ex second round of exit teams. Uh, the Bucks definitely. You know, obviously it ranks like some teams are like for sure second round exits. Others are like you never know. Uh, fodder. These are teams that first round they just get fed to the beast. Um, first round exits. Two main characters, LeBron and Steph Curry, in there. But I think it's a new age, so I'm hoping that happens. Play in. Those are two teams that just a hey, have no plot, no purpose, just purgatory straight, and that's them too. Everyone else, we just sitting at home chilling. So that's what's going to happen, in my opinion. If you agree, comment down below. If you don't agree, comment down below. For more content like this, make sure to like the video. We're close to 700 subscribers, so definitely would love that. Um, and hey, I'll see you guys on the next video, and I'm out of here. Peace.